During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about drain tile water quality. Now, Darren and I both grew up on the farm. In fact, I live on our home farm yet, and for most of our lives, we drank well water. Well, one of the most important things for us is water quality on the farm, and I think you're going to find that's true with most farmers. But a lot of people have questions about what does drain tile do for water quality, and that's why we wanted to cover this today. When you see a pipe coming out the end of a field and there's water coming out of it, I don't know why, but images of a factory and pollution yep. are in many people's minds. Yep. This is water coming out of a field where crops are grown. But still, what I would say to encourage you if you're a farmer is pull a water sample out of that and see what the quality really is so you can communicate that with your neighbors. Okay, here are the two most important things to look at, nitrate and phosphorus. Let's start with the nitrate. The drinking water quality standard is 10 parts per million for nitrate nitrogen. So in other words, if that water coming out of that tile line is 10 parts per million or less, at least for that one component, that is safe to drink. And we would just encourage you, make sure you understand that and share that with people because a lot of people believe that, oh, any nitrate in the water is bad. No, that's not true. There's nitrate or at least some level of nitrate in pretty much all water. It's not that big a deal as long as, just like everybody always says, the dose makes the poison. As long as the dose is really, really low, there's no problem. Well, you talk about nitrate, and rightly so. That's probably the thing that gets talked about the most in the media. But phosphate is probably a bigger concern because that's the limiting factor for algae growth in most freshwater sources. Yep, absolutely. And the good news here is if we can just reduce erosion out of fields, then the phosphorus probably isn't going to get to that water because phosphorus does not leach. Now back to that pipe coming out the end of the field. That's nice to see the outside part of that, but what is actually underneath the field? That's what you need to understand. In most cases, what you're looking at is plastic perforated drainage tile. So it's like a big hose that's four inches or six inches in diameter that has little slots in it for moisture to, to move into that pipe and then exit the field. And what happens is once that soil has filled up as full as it can fill with water, the excess water is what will make it into that tile. And there won't be any water going in until the soil is at the excess level. Now that water has filtered down through three to six feet of dirt to get to that pipe. And this is the purpose of soil out in a field, is to filter things out, to filter out nutrients, to filter out anything in that water that the plants need or that the soil can hold. And what comes out the bottom is almost pure water. Yep, so most of the time what we actually see coming out of drain tile water, because we've tested this many, many times on our farm and on farms throughout the United States, we see nitrate levels are less than 10 parts per million. Now, I'm not saying there aren't some cases where it could be over, but most all the time it's less than 10 parts per million on nitrate nitrogen, and most of the time with the phosphorus, it's not detectable. Because like I said earlier, phosphorus is not very leachable. You'd have to have a ridiculously huge amount of phosphorus in the soil, way more than any farmer would actually need in order for it to be leachable to end up in that water. So when phosphorus sticks to the soil, that's a good thing if we can reduce erosion. And by tiling, the studies have shown erosions typically reduced 40 to 60%. Now, one of the best things, too, that you can do if you're worried about that water coming out is just look at the water coming out the tile line, and then after a rain, look at the water that runs off the field and ends up in the ditch. And you'll quickly see, boy, that tile is really important, and it really does help improve water quality with water leaving fields. Yep, what I would encourage you to do is just do some research on this. You don't have to believe anything that we're telling you. Just look at all the studies that have been done because drain tile's been out there for centuries now. There's a really good summary of studies that I usually will reference. It's called Environmental Benefits of Drain Tile. So if you simply do a quick internet search on that, you'll be able to find that. It's actually out of University of Guelph. And then you can see, oh, here are like 86 different studies proving that by putting tile on the ground, you have cleaner water downstream, not dirtier water. Well, clean water leaving the field is a good thing, Brian, but so is weeds. We just want weeds to leave our fields for good. We'll show you how to get this weed out of your field coming up later in the show. <music> 